हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी आई टी एल एस अकेडमी और टूडे इस लेक्चर इज़ ऑन द टॉपिक फूड प्रोडक्ट एनालिसिस दैट इज़ बेस्ड ऑन द प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग ऑन द टॉपिक सीरियल एंड वेरियस सीरियल्स प्रोडक्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द लेक्चर फर्स्ट एज वी नो देर इज अ फूड सेफ्टी स्टैंडर्ड फॉर मेंटेनिंग द स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ द फूड दीज स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर सीरियल पल्सेज एंड देयर प्रोडक्ट्स आर लेड डाउन इन सेक्शन 2.4 ऑफ द फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड एंड रेगुलेशन इन 2011. दीज इंक्लूड्स स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर फूड ग्रेन देयर मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स एंड प्रोसेस्ड सीरियल प्रोडक्ट्स and in addition to standards for malted foods and solvent extracted edible oil seeds floors are also included under this item uh, here there is a need for dif uh, differentiating the refraction uh, let me define the refraction first in today's lecture the experiment will be conducted on the determination of refraction content in the uh, that is present in the cereals okay the refraction means all components of food grain which differ from normal grains such as foreign matters other food grains damaged grains wilt grains broken and shrilled grains etc the definition for various refractions is given under uh, the types of uh, refractions such as the kernel bunt ergot filth the kernel bunt is the grains of wheat having a dull appearance and blackish in color the blackness is spreading along the longitudinal furrow on the ventral side giving the kernels a boat like appearance this grain is affected by a field fungus the it is a type of refraction which makes the cereal differ from the normal cereals the next refraction is the ergot the in in ergot the grains of wheat showing a slightly curved body in the ear in place of kernel ergot is uh, produced by fungus and uh, uh, ergot produces ergotoxin and occurs in rye millets and wheat the next reference uh, refraction is the filth uh filth we can say any uh, objectionable matter contributed by animal contamination of the products such as rodent insects or bird matter or any other objectionable matter contributed by insanitary conditions and it can be uh, somewhat a uh, heavy filth or light filth we can say heavy filth or heavier filth material separated from product by uh, sedimentation based on different densities of filth food particles and immersion liquids such as chcl3 etc example of such filths are in insect and rodent excreta pellet and pellet fragment sand and soil uh, the next type of filth is the light filth the lighter filth particle that are uh, oleophilic and are separated from product by floating them in an oil aqueous liquid mixture uh, the main examples for this is the insect fragments whole insect rodent hairs feather bubbles these are some types of filth which comes under the refraction i think now you have got the idea uh, i'm talking for which topic uh, what is a refraction refraction in simple words we can say that it is a type of impurities that is present in normal cereals um, we have also seen in our home that uh, sometimes we used to clean our rice uh, by manually and in norm in normal uh, industries these are carried out through different processes and through different instruments used for this uh used for uh, collecting the refractions from the and cleaning up the re, uh, refractions from the normal cereals okay what are the equipments that are needed for this experiment in order to uh, in order to collect the refractions and make them separate from the um normal cereals we need a balance that is sensitive to 1 mg a sieves of uh, round holes having following apertures we need a different sieving uh, tray that should be of uh, 
top most should consist of 4.0 mm second from the top should consist of 3.35 mm third from the top consist of 1.70 mm and fourth from the top consist of 10 mm of uh, whole size a solid pan at the bottom uh, and melt tray a small scoop forceps and magnifying glass okay what are the procedure examines the uh, examine the test sample for its general conditions such as its appearance freedom from moles insect infestations or for the or uh, poisonous or deleterious material sometimes we used to reject the materials if we by our naked eye show uh, can be able to see in some any unwanted condition or the cereals may be not up to the grade so we can at that time reject it if it is not then it is carried out for the further uh, further experimental procedure okay how can we determine the uh, foreign matter these steps are determine foreign matters by transferring entire 500 g of the sample over the set of sieves arranged in such a way that the sieve with the largest perforation comes at the top and those with the smaller perforation are placed in order of their size with the solid pan at the bottom now next step is to agitate it agitate the sample thoroughly to strain out the foreign matter at various levels as a result of this straining other food grains and foreign matters like uh, bold pieces of clay shaft etc shall remain on the first three sieves according to their sizes now the uh, topmost sieve would contain bold grain big piece of clay and uh, other big sized uh, foreign matter while the lower sieves would contain the smaller uh, shriveled and badly insect damaged grain and smaller foreign matters you have to separate the sieves after straining and pick up all the foreign matters and add it to the foreign matter collected on the bottom pan next is to weigh the total foreign matters of the bottom pan and calculate the percentage in the case of rice millets smaller size the quantity of sample for test should be 250 g for the purpose of reducing the quantity of the test sample spread the entire sample in a tray uh, divided uh, divide it into a uh, four equal portion collect the two opposite portion and repeat this process till the required quantity of sample is collected once you collect the sample then you can determine the uh, mineral matters that is present in that uh, foreign matters uh, you have to separate the foreign matters into mineral and organic foreign matters by putting the entire foreign matter collected into a beaker containing carbon tetrachloride the inorganic extra uh, extraneous matter or mineral matter we can say will settle down which can be separated from organic foreign matter now remove the organic foreign matter dry and weigh calculate the percentage the remaining amount shall be the mineral matter and uh, this is a type of uh, foreign matter that is usually present and we can see by the naked eyes and uh, you can also uh, determine the diffraction other than the foreign matters you have to mix the content of the four sieves freed from the foreign matter together and spread out evenly on a flat smooth surface from this spread take exactly the specified quantity required for the analysis uh, and uh, as indicated below from the different parts of by uh, quartering the samples place the weight quantity in an enameled tray then pick out by hand with the help of a magnifying glass if necessary various refractions as per the definition i have told you earlier is can be uh, can be calculated can be uh, separated weigh each refractions and calculate the percentage you would be easily uh, for by magnifying glass seeing through magnifying glass you can easily uh, make it out that whether uh, the our particular serial cannot Uh, is uh, damaged by kernel kernel refraction or ergot refraction 
Thank you for being with us. For more information, please log on to our website www.itlsacademy.com and register yourself for summer training program.